Let's turn the page. All right, more of this. Um, this time, remember a minute ago we had those vertical angles? Once again, we have this shared piece, and this time this piece is a, a line segment. So remember that if it's a congruent, we're looking for letters, but if it's a number, uh, if it's equals, we're looking for a number. So angle H is congruent to, we're looking for a letter. Well, let's look at the word, the, the statement. H is at the end, J is at the end. So we can just say angle J. Segment KL, let's look at the word. KL is like the middle and the first, so that would be LK, middle and first. And let's look at the diagram of this one. LK is right here. This is strange, but it's congruent to itself. I mean, right? It's, it is its own thing, but it's like part of it's over here on this triangle. Part of it's on this triangle. And back with the H and the J, I think I want to mark those, even though I hadn't done it before. I think I want to. Um, if H is congruent to J, which I just said, because H and J are the last, then I'm going to mark this H and J like this, because that's going to help me along the way. Um, now we're looking for an equal sign. Equal means a number. So how much is angle H equal? Well, I just marked it, and it has a marking over here, which just matches with a 42. The number I need to put in there is 42. Man, this one, because of the font, this one's kind of weird looking, but it's an LJ is what they're looking for, LJ. And so if I go to my diagram, LJ is down here. Um, I haven't really matched my the rest of my pieces yet. I probably ought to do that. Let's take a look. And I think I'm going to go with the segments. So KL matches with LK. We actually already marked that one. Um, LJ goes with KH. So where's LJ? Here's LJ. That's what I'm talking about, right? And LJ goes with KH. KH is this one over here. And so this one that's not marked yet, I'm going to put three on there just to remind myself. Okay, so LJ, the way I just did it, LJ has one marking on it. It's here. LJ, uh, that goes with this one marking. It's an equal sign. That means it's looking for a number. That's 10. All right, for the last two, again, they are congruent, so we're looking for letters. Um, we have to rearrange the letters because, look, these letters are out of order from these letters. We can either do that by looking at the diagram, or we can actually just do it by looking at the letters up here. And I think I might do that. So JLK is like backwards here, right? So JLK. So that means I can go HKL. I kept the J with the H. I kept the L with the K, just like up here, the L and the K were together. And I kept this K with this L. So they all matched up. Now this one, let's take a look at which angle they're talking about. HLK. Where is HLK? HLK is this angle right here. Do you see that this angle goes from the three to the corner to the two? And so the one that goes from the three to the corner to the two is this one right here. That's angle K. But if I just said angle K, you would have no idea. Am I talking about this one or this one? Or the whole one? But I'm talking about this one right here. So what did I say? I said it went from the 3 to the angle to the 2. So 3 to angle to 2 was J, K, L. I know these are hard to see, and sometimes it's easier if you think of in terms of doing rotations and stuff. So like if I flip this over, then I could slide it over and it would fit. Um, we'll work on this in class a little bit, and we might even use some... Uh, paper, some patty paper or manipulatives to do it. Okay, the next one, write a congruence statement and then find the value of x. All right, for my congruence statement, I really think the easiest thing to do is to go in order of the things that are marked. So with this first triangle, when I make a congruence statement, I'm going to say triangle such and such is congruent to triangle such and such. I'm going to go u, v, w. And I'm going that way not because it's in alphabetical order, but because the U has a 1, the V has 2, and the W didn't have any, but I'm going to go and put 3 on there just because it'll make it easier. Okay, now I go to my other triangle. My other triangle, U, V, W, started with the 1 and went to the 2. Starting with the 1 over here is Z, and then 2 is Y, and the one that's not marked that I'm going to go ahead and mark is X. 
So they're out of order alphabetically. It's not alphabetical order. It's the, the way they're marked. That's what's important. So now the question is, what is X? Well, I have this with the three markings on it, and I have to decide, does that go with a 67? Does it go with a 54? Or does it go with the miscellaneous down here? And unfortunately, it goes with the miscellaneous down here. And the reason I say that's unfortunate is that we have some math to do to figure this out. We're going to have to do a couple of different equations. Um, I'm going to start. I'm going to start with 54 plus 67 plus W is equal to 180. Right? Because we know a triangle has to add up to 180. So now if I add my like terms, 54 plus 67 makes 121. So now if I subtract 121, and I've run out of space, I'm going to come over here. What I get is W is equal to 59 degrees. All right, now that was not what the question is asking, but it's what I need. Because now this X is congruent with W, so now I have to say, I'm going to come down here. Um, I'm going to say 4x minus 5 goes with this one, and this one is 59. So 4x minus 5 equals 59. So now I just need to solve this one to come up with my final answer. And so I add 5 to both sides, I get 64, I divide by 4, and that gives me x equals 16. Actually, I'm going to stop there, and I'm going to save example B for in-class work together. So um, that'll be the end of this video, and we'll work on this one in class together.